Welcome to Tabletop Battle, I am Sven and this is Late War Panzer Grenadiers. This is the contents of the box and as you can see 30 plastic German Grenadiers with bases and 3 Hanomogs. And uh, there's a lot of weapons and choices you can have for this uh, force. And we will take a look at that now. I bought me one of these sets from World of Games and uh, sent it to Thomas Greenwood for him to make something nice out of it. We had some nice conversations on uh, Facebook Messenger and uh, decided how the composition should be. So I will, in a minute, unwrap the bubble plastic and show you what the whole full force looks like. It's three SDKF set 251-1s and 30 Grenadiers with the uh, equipment I have chosen to have on them. This box is 70 pounds from the World of Games web store. If you're a patron, you will of course get 20 plus percent discount on that. And uh, it's an awesome piece of kit. And the cool thing is that Thomas also sent me a little surprise, which you can see the top of. And as well, he shipped the models in the original box, which means I also have that. So, thank you Thomas, let's take a look at the uh, end result. The complete force, and uh, I'm very happy to say that none of the models were damaged. So that's very, very nice packaging. Okay, so the specifics I asked for was to have some more assault rifles, since we don't have that at Tabletop Battle, just a few models. And also models armed with Panzerfausts, so I got six guys with Panzerfausts. I got uh, 13 guys with assault rifles. I got 5 guys with rifles and 4 guys with light machine guns. Now I think it's important to note that this is to fill out our existing forces, it's not a force in its own. Although you could of course play this as a nice, well, depending on what run or regular, you could probably make this a thousand point army without any problems. Um, so we got the three SDKF set 251s, very nice uh, paint job on these, and you even got the crew inside, the Panzer IV, thank you very much Thomas. This uh, will be put to use in future battle reports, along with the models of course. And uh, it's a great paint job that he has done on these uh, babies. Let's take a uh, little look at the details. You wouldn't think that Thomas only spent two or three days to paint all these models, 30 of them and three half tracks, uh, to get it ready for me, but that's fact. Lots of nice detail, looking very good, the base is also very nice, usable in the different uh, settings depending on your battlefield, so they look very very good. I am impressed Thomas, who knew you had it in you? So expect to see more painted plastic miniature soldiers by Thomas Wood in the near future coming to a battle report to you from Tabletop Battle. So if you are a patron you can have uh, Thomas Wood paint for you at a very low cost, you get 15% from his RRP and if you're partaking in uh, future events and uh, stuff where we give out goodie bags I'm sure Thomas will also contribute like he has done for the Warlords 2017 tournament with an extra added discount. So it's good to be a patron at Tabletop Battle. So this is it and now I have to pack up and hop on the plane to England for the first annual Tabletop Battle Bolt Action Warlodge Tournament. See ya!